Good day folks, I'd like to show you another variation, a concept you guys could experiment with. Uh, I think this one will be easier than others I had posted with similar methods and ideas with feedback and uh, self-triggering oscillations with galvanic type air cells. So I took the concepts and try and make them more simple and combine even more projects into one and maybe this will be easier for you folks to experiment with. So let me explain how this works. So in my example, I use a plastic block here, and on this block, we use the first thing you do is you put a um, the piezo plate right on it, and then you put an electrolyte slash dielectric material. So we're going to build a hybrid capacitor and an air galvanic cell here. So this is why we're doing this. And then once you have your electrolyte dielectric, and in my example, I want to use a solid state electrolyte membrane. You can find many kinds online of these, and uh, they, some of them they use for the hydrogen fuel cells, so you could actually buy them in kits and cut them out as you need them. So this is commonly found on Amazon, basically. And with that said, um, you put your, you wrap your, for example, I use copper wire here. It has to be non-insulating, but spaced out so they don't actually sort each other out, and form a coil hybrid as well. So now what's going to happen, you're either going to get a galvanic cell air effect, positive or negative, depending on what is going to be your cathode and your anode, depending on what materials you're going to use, folks. There's more than one kind of piezoelectric material, and there's more than one kind of, especially any, any dissimilar metal. So again, they'll have different electron properties, so you're going to have to determine the polarity. Once you do that, you can incorporate something like a S, like a 2 volt SCR cap dump and what that would do is it would short the capacitor out when it reaches the 2 volt threshold from its self-charging galvanic air cell and this will create a short in the system which will momentarily trigger the piezoelectric which will back feed into the capacitor as a sort of rebound effect and that's what will keep the self oscillating going and then the galvanic cell again will build the voltage up 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and then eventually trigger and this whole system happens again but because we made a hybrid we have a coil we can include an additional back EMF dump stage here that takes the increased amplitudes of this and this is what we could actually use folks as a trigger for our devices and with that said it won't affect the inner workings of this system here because we're not loading we're leaving this alone to keep the self triggering going so basically it's the shorts that like I said that triggers the piezoelectric properties after the short you get the rebound effect and it's kind of like an electric but it's not an electric obviously and something to uh, keep in mind we have to make sure we stay in phase with the galvanic cell polarity because you wouldn't want your oscillations especially your dump to work against it, right? You don't want to diminish the effect. So again, I can't give you a more detailed schematic because there's several variations to this idea depending on what materials you have available to work with and it will literally change the polarity of the system depending on what you're going to use. So you will need to, if you want to experiment with this concept, you're going to need to make sure you establish what your positive and negative of your galvanic air cell part of the capacitor is before you work on your SCR dump and back EMF collector here from the coil. But in essence, a self-charging capacitor in self-oscillation mode. It's a hybrid that incorporates basically the capacitor properties, the piezoelectric properties, and a hybrid um, backing MF coil with a galvanic air cell as well. So multiple energy systems here folks, it's not cheating, it's not uh, violating laws of physics, it's just building in a very efficient system that will cost us very little to get an electrical output back in return. So I hope you enjoy and let me know what you think in the comments and have yourselves a very good day.